So I just want to kind of show you a couple of examples um, where we've taken and extended uh, an entertainment property across multiple channels and using uh, a structure of a lot of collaborative gameplay, sometimes competitive gameplay. Um, so the first one is Why So Serious, which was a, uh, an alternate reality game that played out for a year and a half before the, uh, um, the Dark Knight and ultimately had 11 million players in about uh, 76 countries. Um, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Every, I'm here speaking to you guys, in case you didn't know. Um, so kind of the challenge was, um, you know, the first movie Batman Begins was Chris Nolan's first foray into the property of Batman. And um, the, the second movie came out in, in real time several years later, but, uh, but from when we started, you know, in real time from the last frame of Batman Begins. So our challenge was to take kind of these uh, iconic characters, and there have been decades and decades of people reading about Batman, and apparently young men have to choose between Batman and Superman. I don't really know what that's about, but uh, we were clued in. Uh, the women were clued in on this project. Um, you know, Batman is tortured. He's a real person. He chose to do it. I'm just kind of saying. Um, but, uh, but you know, the whole, the whole idea was how do you get across not just, um, you know, these, these are obviously iconic characters and, you know, people know a lot about Gotham City, but how can we make everyone, wherever you are, a citizen of Gotham City? And how do you get across specifically Chris Nolan's vision for, for Gotham City? So the first thing is really kind of, whenever you think about intercepting an audience and kind of moving into a space that's more interactive or, or more, you know, game or, or multi-platform oriented, you have to think about taking the people who have a vested interest, if there are people who are, you know, are, are already enthusiastic about what you're doing, and you have to intercept them correctly. So for The Dark Knight, we knew that there were a lot of people out there who had a lot of opinions about Batman Begins and about the property in general. There are many, many, many comic book forums. Many of you probably you know, read them as well. And so we knew that we had to intercept that audience correctly. So about, um, in I think, May of 2007, uh, the filmmakers wanted to get out the first official image of the Joker, uh, Heath Ledger as the Joker in Joker makeup, so they asked us how to do it. How can we do it in a way that does what the power of this type of entertainment can do, which is um, transfer ownership to the audience, make it feel like it's their thing. So, um, so what we did is we worked with the studio to have them put up an image of Aaron Eckhart, who was just announced to be played in Harvey Dent, and at the same time, in about a dozen comic book uh, stores in New York and Chicago and, and LA, we dropped these Joker cards, and they were stamped with, ha, 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 and uh, I believe in Harvey Dent, too. You know, kind of sarcastically. Um, so, you know, people immediately found them and scanned them and uh, went to a website where they saw the same image of Harvey Dent, uh, but now he's tagged by the Joker, and there was a note there saying, if you want your vote to really count, you know, enter in your email address. People did, and they were uh, given back X and Y coordinates, and they were able to, you know, go back to this image and remove a pixel. And uh, what happened was an interesting phenomenon, which is the first kind of rabid 20, 30,000, you know, fans immediately did it, and they could see by removing all those pixels that there was an image underneath. So then they had to reach out socially through their social networks and blogs and, and you know, uh, dig and, you know, different sites to get more people, because it took about almost 100,000 people to reveal this. Um, and, and all the while it was revealing, which took about 20 hours, lots and lots and lots of stories were being written and partial images were being posted everywhere. Well, because the Joker is, as you know, an agent of chaos, immediately after they uncovered the whole picture, it went away. And, um, and so everybody's hearing about it and reading about it and they're going to the link and they get, oh, page not found. But it was on a black page, so if they actually, you know, scrolled over it, there was another message from the Joker saying, ha, 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 um, you know, and in, embedded in there were letters that spelled out, see you in December. So people immediately are, are hooked, right? You know, so first of all, you know, rather than push this picture out to like Yahoo movies or whatever, which a lot of people would have seen it, it's like they found it, they uncovered it, it's their picture, they had all captured it, it was everywhere.